Hi guys, welcome back to the Star Wars figure review. Uh, next we're going to take a look at another one of the figures from the Last Jedi line, but this time we're going to start take a look at some of the three and three quarter inch figures. So we're going to start off with Luke Skywalker. Now before we look at him, we'll take a look at the packaging. This one comes in. As you see, it's a brand new design of packaging for the three and three quarter inch figures. It's, uh, it feels slightly smaller to that of the uh, the Force Awakens and Rogue One packaging. So means I've put in less into making it, which is eh, not too bad, because this is just going to go with a bin after I've given you a look at it. But uh, I like the new new look of it though, because we get a clear image of the figure on the side there, instead of the Kylo Ren or Death Troopers like we had for Force Awakens in Rogue One. And on the back there you have this little uh, feature that's now come out with these figures, instead of the app thing they did last year with Rogue One, they're doing some sort of Force Link thing, I don't really give it care over about that so I'm not really going to be doing any of that. That's a little, that's a little play feature for yeah basically, basically activates sounds through the character I'm not too sure exactly what it is but um, you know I'll have, I'll have a look online see what it, see what it actually means but yeah I don't really care too much for that so yeah and that's, so that's the packaging for the for the figure so good little packaging so now we get on to the character here. Uh, this is so far the only variant of this Luke Skywalker that I own. I went to Smith's Toys yesterday and I managed to pick up a bunch of these three and three quarter inch figures. Uh, first off, the character comes with his cloak, which is plastic goods. He wears this at the end of Force Awakens. It's a shame it wasn't soft goods because it would have been nice to have the hood able to be put up, but we just have to remember what it goes. It does tend to come off easily unless you got like the hands in a good enough position. Like when it's down like that. It stays on okay, but like if you have it opened up, it comes off just like that. It's just a basic sort of beige-ish cloak, which is all kind of the same. And then look at the figure without the cloak. It's a good design. We finally got a Luke Skywalker in this scale for the Force from the Force Awakens and the Last Jedi. So if you do have the Ray, I'm gonna hold this still. I'm just gonna move further forward. There we go. If you do have the Ray, you can. Um, do the character thing at the end of the Force Awakens, where Luke is standing on the at the top of Acto with his, and then Ray comes up with his light old lightsaber to give it back to him. Uh, unfortunately, this figure doesn't seem to come with any other accessories, aside from the cloak, which might be something they're saving up for the film. But if because the uh, Elite series Disney Store variant did come with the staff, I believe, but. Um, I'm not in a massive rush to get that, so. But uh, this looks pretty good, like with the. Uh, put back on with the cloak there. I'm hold it still my arm. It does look really good with the cloak, I do like the look of it. Especially with the facial sculpt as well. Like, Hasbro done a good job in sculpting the character of Luke Skywalker to look like how he will look in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. So I can't keep that cloak on very well, it's a main problem. I kind of just have them standing on the shelf with it on. I do like how they've got into uh, sculpting his mechanical hand that he now has. So it looks like the flesh from the hand that he had in Return of the Jedi has now all burned away. So get the camera to focus on that. Yeah. They've gone into doing those little bits of detail there. Whilst his other hand is just the same old human hand that he was born with and has retained over the years. So there we go, it's Luke Skywalker with the cloak on in his hand. That's the basic figure, I'll just take off the cloak again so you can see it again. Uh, run down the articulation, it's the same old five points, ball jointed neck, swivel shoulders and swivel hips. Hopefully when the Vintage Collection relaunches again next year we'll get a more super articulated variant of this Luke which I would very much like to pick up if it becomes the case. But the Black Series version does have that kind of articulation vibe to it but I um, still haven't managed to grab my hands on it but I will eventually get around to grabbing it and having it on the display. But yeah that is Luke Skywalker there. I hope you enjoyed looking at him. This is Luke Skywalker, Jedi Master from the 3 and 3 quarter inch line. I'll be back with another couple of figures out of this line.
to show you next so do stay tuned for them and follow me on my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, all links are down there below. See you later guys.